Flag Seed Libraries now in Ontario. He's part of a global movement, the organization that he's part of representing. Uh, some of the grannies that you heard from are also involved with the Seed Library. Jacob has now also uh, moved his passion from the city into the country. He's running a CSA near Aurelia. He's farming it. He's doing, you know, when the, uh, when the conventional guys say, why don't you go do it? Jacob is going and doing it. So uh, here he is. Growing and doing it. Growing and doing it. Yeah. Um, thanks uh, for everybody for gathering. Thanks to Tori for acknowledging the ancestors. I too would like to acknowledge the ancestors, uh, the seeds, for which uh, none of us would be here if not for these seeds. And in particular, I'm here holding in my hands some some beans and squash. And uh, these squash are very special to me, very sacred seeds I was gifted from a woman named Audrey Logan in Winnipeg, uh, an elder and grandmother there. And she acquired these seeds, she was gifted the seeds at an indigenous farmers conference in Minnesota. Um, and uh, the, the gardeners there were given the seeds uh, originally from uh, the women of the Miami Nation uh, in the state presently known as Indiana. And they've been stewarding these seeds for potentially thousands of years. And they grew uh, what uh, the seeds are now called uh, Gete Okosomin, which is an Ojibwe meaning ancient squash. And these squash grow uh, a few feet long. Um, and I uh, harvested them last year and carried them all around town like a little squash baby. And people were so impressed. And uh, so I just would like to acknowledge that. I also want to start by saying I love you all. I wanted to share a message of uh, peas and lovage and solidarity. <laughs> and I see a lot of uh, boycott Monsanto and save the bees, and, and that's great, but uh, the bees um, are not the only ones threatened. Every uh, living being on this planet is threatened um, by the mass annihilation of, of life on this earth and the wholesale collapse and closure of our life support systems. And I firmly believe that food is central to life uh, but food is mostly water, and so we got to acknowledge uh, the life source as well. Growing up, I didn't quite know what to do about all these issues. I was very upset, angry, frustrated, depressed at the, the scale of the collapse, the wars, the inequality, the lies. So I, got, uh, I started telling people what they shouldn't do. You should stop this and stop that. And I didn't find a lot of support in that, uh, in that approach until I started offering people solutions and offering them opportunities for action that's meaningful, that, they can, uh, that people can actually engage in, that's accessible. So a few years ago, uh, I got together with some friends down at St. James Park uh, through the Occupy uh, movement and had a little sign there that said, Occupy Gardens. And we rallied a, a militia of guerrilla gardeners and we planted a free community food garden right over there, right in Queens Park. People always say, why don't you start a garden? Well, there's hundreds of thousands of people in this city who are um, not allowed to start gardens because they're not allowed to access the abundance of land and space and resources that our society is literally just throwing out. And so we took direct action and we planted this garden without waiting to ask for permission. And we had, uh, over the year, uh, Legislative Security, Toronto Police Department, and other uh, secret security forces coalescing against us, and ultimately on the eve of harvest, they destroyed the garden. Yeah, they came and they destroyed the People's Peas Garden. We returned the next spring with an original musical theater called No Garden is Illegal. And, uh, we had a free food for all festival in the South Lawn of Queens Park, and we replanted the garden, um, which they destroyed again. And then we replanted, and they destroyed it again. Uh, we're just going to keep planting, and uh, keep planting. Yeah. Yep. And if we can rally more and more people, then they can't, they can't keep us down. And so as was uh, talked about earlier, our Gorilla Gardening Collective uh, initiated the uh, Toronto Seed Library, which at that time was, I think, the second or third in the province. And now there's about 35 seed libraries, and most of them exist within public libraries. So if you can imagine, we have about a thousand public libraries in Ontario, and if you imagine a, a seed library, a free public access collection of seeds in every public library. Could you imagine the implications for Monsanto and these uh, corporate monopolies? Yeah. 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 
And to do that, if every single one of you went home after today and just walked in your public library and started talking to your librarians and said, can we have a seat library? And you talk to your city councillors and you talk to the library board of the city of Toronto. There's 100 public libraries in this city and if we had a, a system in place, we would have the world's most sophisticated seed library collection and serve as an inspiration for around the world. Last spring, we went then to Tucson for the first international seed library forum. And there's over 500 seed libraries around the world. And save your applause, save your applause. There's uh, a lot to get through, I don't want to take up all the time, but basically, anywhere seeds are sold, they're trashed, because that's the nature of the system. The seeds are produced for profit, uh, for the profit of a few, and so anywhere seeds are sold, more likely they're thrown in the trash than given to those in need. And so we've been able to redirect over 300,000 packs of seeds uh, just in the GTA uh, from the dumps, uh, the dumps of capitalism. And so these seeds have life, they're just not uh, viable for their commercial standards. And so we literally have thousands and thousands and thousands of packs of seeds sitting in our office space. We just lack the human capacity to, to organize and circulate them around the city. And so I'm asking for your help and support uh, in developing these community seed libraries. And um, we've got free seeds information, some free food here. And uh, that's about it. Thanks, everybody. Love you.